complain about, oh, I'm not in Rwanda. Oh, I don't have this. But guess what? If you have health, if you have functionality in your, bra- in your body, in your brain, uh, if you're receiving signals right now, put your hands together, stand on your feet, worship, worship the Almighty. Worship. Because he could have he could have cut it off in a hot second. We didn't have to wake up this morning. We didn't need to have our cognitive ability. We didn't we could be in a hospital room right now. There's so many things you could be upset about, but you need to be happy that God has given you another chance to serve him, to be the salt and the light of this earth. We cannot take each day for granted. We cannot take each moment for granted. Amen. We we have to understand who we are. We have a purpose. There is a reason that we are here. Amen. There is a reason that we are here. God doesn't do anything by accident. Yeah, you can complain about something, but God doesn't want to hear that. It's not, it's not a sweet incense, a sweet fragrance if you're complaining. We talked about that. What it is, is it's a foul stench. It's a slap in the face. Okay? We saw that from the, 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 the Hebrew camp, <laughs> the Israelite camp. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the desert. I'm thirsty. No duh. No duh. <laughs> he created it to be like that. He knows that you're thirsty. If he knows the hairs on your head, he doesn't have to count too many with me. All right. But if he knows the hairs on your head, then he knows if you're thirsty or not. He knows if your cells are hydrated. Okay. <laughs> so don't tell him that. Don't tell him that you're thirsty. Thank him for that glass of water. Thank him in advance for what you expect him to do. Not with what you're going through right now. That's not faith. That is not faith. That's murmuring and complaining. That is not faith. Faith is stepping out when you have no idea where you're going to land. None. Faith is moving day to day. Okay, God, I don't understand, but this is my assignment. That's faith. Are there emotions in faith? Yeah. Yeah, you can be emotional, but you better keep moving. You stand still, you're an easy target. But as long as you're moving forward, God can meet you there. His word says, draw nigh to me, and I'll draw and I'll draw nigh to you. Absolutely. Okay? But you've got to move forward. You've got to do something. Faith without works is dead. Meaning, having faith that, oh man, that check's gonna come in the mail, but what have you done to earn a check? <laughs> what have you done to earn a check? <laughs> God's like, how How can I supply this? Even when we ask for things, he puts us through tests that give us what we ask for. Okay? You have to go through that test. This is not what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, I didn't even study. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Okay? I didn't even study. Been too busy. Okay? So whatever God says is what he says. We we could be out of here in 10 minutes. The Holy Ghost fall. I, I don't know. But, but faith is key. Faith is the, 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 the cornerstone, the building blocks of grace apostolic. So if you're sitting here today, then you are charged with your level of faith. <laughs> you, you, you can't be assigned to the man of God and, and, and his assignment is faith and believing and crushing and going through things and think that that's not what you are assigned to. That's wrong. That's incorrect. You are out of place. You are out of order. <laughs> you don't belong. Simple as that. You don't belong. If you don't think that you have to go through things and your faith not be tested, then you don't belong in grace apostolic. Simple. Simple. Absolutely. Okay. 
It's very, very simple, guys. Okay? This is nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but this, whatever God says, uh, you say it. Okay? But, but you need to know that whatever your expectations are for life, in order for you to get to the next level, you have to have some level of faith. Some level of faith. I, I don't know what that looks like for you. Each and every one of us ha, ha, has a different test. Okay, we have a different expectation, a different call on our lives. But whatever that level of faith is, you've got to meet it. Because that's where God will meet you and then exponentially grow you. The, the Bell family didn't just happen into to success no you ask my wife it, we she worked hard y'all have no idea what she went through in order to get to the level that she got to y'all have no clue no clue no clue now you can see some of it you can see some of the reward okay because that's the tangible things but what y'all don't understand is what it took the intangibles that it took to even get there those are, that's a completely different thing. It's not just showing up to church. That's easy. Anybody can sit in a chair and, and zone out for, for hours at a time. Anybody can do that. Man, you got to take some leaps. You got to take some leaps. Lucretia took a leap. She, she jumped. I'll, I'm out. 15 years of service. I'm out. I'm out. That ain't, that's not easy. The, the mental hurdle is not easy. There, there are times, there are times, there are mind fights. Your body will convulse. It is so afraid. <laughs> the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Flesh don't want to do that. The flesh wants to be comfortable. Flesh doesn't want to do anything hard. The flesh wants to be comfortable. Your spirit is the one that has to fight. The spirit is a warrior. The spirit is what wars a good warfare. Not your flesh. We fight not against. Okay. So if, if we're not fighting against flesh and blood, then what does our flesh want to do? Not fight. <laughs> it's simple. Okay. The inverse is true. Correct? All right. But, but to do that, to get to that level, to be able to give up and say, God, I, I trust you. But that doesn't mean I, I know. <laughs> I know what you're going to do. I have no idea. But my understanding is so obsolete that, that whatever that you have for me, I believe that it's greater than what I can even fathom. I, I told her about the dream that I had. My, my, uh, so so get, getting back to the bells because um, I got the mic, so I'm going to talk to you guys about, about us. Uh, my wife told me that I don't even need to study. I can just talk about this week. And, and it's Tuesday. It feels like Friday. Uh, but and she's right. <laughs> she's right. I got a couple notes down. We'll see if we get there. Um, but, but my wife was sitting in these same chairs when I looked at her and said, hey, I'm, I'm going to quit my job. <laughs> uh, that, was, that, was, that was six figures. I'm like, I'm leaving. I'm out. And she was like, oh, yeah, you know, a couple weeks or maybe about a month. I don't know what she thought. I, I was telling her, I, I'm going to quit tomorrow. <laughs> like, I, I'm going to quit tomorrow. God told me, he asked me, he goes, do you trust me? Well, yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. First and foremost, when I hear the voice of God, ain't no mistake. Ain't no, was that me? No, no. I wouldn't ask myself, do I trust me? First and foremost, no. Okay, No. <laughs> No. Y'all ever been in this brain? Y'all don't want to be in that thing, okay? Uh, <laughs> God said, do you trust me? I looked around. <laughs> no one else heard that. So he's talking to me. <laughs> uh, I said, yep. I looked at my wife. I said, hey, uh, I'm going to quit my job. She was like, oh, okay. She, she knew I didn't want to be there. I mean, she used to make fun of me. She's like, you're getting dressed up to sell groceries. Shut up, woman. Nobody asked you. Uh, but she's right. I hated it. Every second of it. Shouldn't have never been there. That was me being afraid. Me not leading with faith, but leading through fear. Okay? Um, yeah, it was, it was I felt like it was provision, but what did I miss out on? <laughs> okay? 
uh, especially in my industry, what, how many contracts did I miss out on? How many opportunities did I miss out on? Okay. And, and, and what you guys have to understand in real estate, all that stuff stacks. You, you, you take care of one client, that could be three more clients that you get. Okay. It, it's just, it just blossoms. All right. So, so my faith from September to December uh, was, was overcome by fear of not having a steady flow of income. Okay. Um, so in December, when, when God was like, I, I'm tired of you, when, when God tells you, I'm tired of you going to a job that I didn't have for you. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm, I'm not making this stuff up. Okay. Can't make this stuff up. All right. God was like, uh, do you trust me? Yes. Jay, I'm going to quit my job. So uh, I walked in there. It was December 9th, I think, December 9th, 2019. I walked in there, and I was like, this is awful. I said, I'm ready to do this right now. I can't spend another day in there. And so uh, <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. I walked up to the, the store director. I'm like, hey, hey I'm out. I, I can't do this. I was like, I'm, I'm in real estate. I want to do this full time. I can't do this anymore. This is awful. I got to go. I said, I'm done. I'm done with retail, done with this crap. I'm out. And so that was at like 8.30 in the morning. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, whoo. That was number one. No, if any of you guys pay attention to real estate in Nebraska, uh, how popping, Lachelle, how popping is December? <laughs> she laughed. Okay, well, don't say anything else. That, that's Thank you, Lachelle, for making me feel even better. Uh, <laughs> it, it, there, it is not popping, okay? <laughs> um, December is when you go on vacation, when you start planning for next year. Um, you know, everybody else is, they've, they've got their whole thing that they, the only people that are moving are the people that get PCS or the people that are just, I, I've got a, I've got a new job or whatever and getting a divorce. I mean, like it, like people just don't move in December. It's just, unless they absolutely have to. Uh, so, so, <laughs> so, so December was dead. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, pff, I don't know. I got one, I had one closing December 3rd, 2019. Um, and that was it. Uh, I didn't get another closing, I think until, um, February, uh, but I started getting contracts. So I didn't get any contracts in December. And so I'm like, man, okay. <laughs> All right. I had a plan. I had a little strategy. I had some little money that we were going to use or whatever. Um, we ended up doing that and that, that kind of pushed me through. And then January it was, it was on and popping. Um, I actually went that whole year. I think there was only one month. I think January was the only month. Wait, how was it? Um, January was the only month I didn't have a closing, but I think there was only one month where I didn't have a contract. So I was taken care of all through 2020, even with COVID popping off and the whole world falling apart as we knew it, right? So, so I'm like, okay, God, I, all right. So, you know, I'm like, all right, this faith thing feels pretty good. Um, However, as, as we progress on, I mean, things, things do get better, but man, they're that last year, fourth quarter, nothing, nothing happened. I mean, I was, I was dead as a door now. I, I was done. However, I, I still kept my faith. I believe God through all of that because I know what I'm supposed to be doing. And just because life throws you some, some lemons, you get DW to make you some lemonade. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just get some sweet lemonade out of it. You don't. <laughs> DW, make, DW make you some lemonade. Okay? Just find that sweetness to it. Okay? But, but the Bell family had to go through things. Okay? Yeah, we have some fantastic months. We have some, we have some amazing months. Amazing months. Uh, I got some stuff going on right now. I'm, I'm about to do numbers I haven't done at all in my career. And so, so um, uh, uh, let me get to that. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that real quick. So, so what's popping off for me is uh, obedience, okay? Um, I 
I was thinking about leaving my brokerage. Um, and, and I, you know, I love, I love my Milford real estate. I mean, we were, we were all high school friends. We we're, I mean, we we're pretty much family. Well, uh, when uh, men, first and foremost, when your wife says, Hey, something doesn't feel right. You listen, just listen, just shut up. Don't put your thoughts into it. If she says something don't feel right, something's probably not right. Uh, my wife told me last year, she goes, hey, I, th I think things are starting to fall apart. I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I started paying attention to it, but I had no intentions of moving. They, they, you know, me and the broker, we were pretty close. She, she did some amazing things for our family. Um, you know, I was like, all right, cool. Let me, you know, let's, let's just see what happens. So I have a conversation in February with the broker, and uh, <laughs> I, I get straight to the point. I don't. I don't beat around the bush. Uh, so I basically laid out some things, and I said, hey, listen, if, if, if I'm going to continue on, we got to make sure we're tight, okay, because um, I can't have my brand suffer from things that you are doing, mistakes you are making. <laughs> I said, you know, if you need help with things, leadership, things like that, I, I've managed thousands of people. You, you got like 10. 10. Ask for help. Reach up for help. Just because you're the broker don't mean you know how to lead because you don't. Um, so I got very blunt, you know, very blunt. Um, spelled it out for her. Uh, and she was like, oh, no, everything's good. Told her a couple things. I was like, yeah, I heard such and such, blah, blah, blah. She's like, what? What? I never heard that. So lo, lo and behold, um, I'll fast forward through all that. Um, so I, I, I had started the process of okay, where am I going to go? I, I don't, I, I'm not that guy. Like, I don't care about brands like that. Like, I care about me. Like, that's, I mean, as selfish and as self-centered that sounds like, that's, that's just who I am. I couldn't care less if it was NP Dodge, KW, uh, Berkshire Hat. I couldn't care less. Like, that stuff, because at the end of the day, it's the agent, not the brokerage, right? Uh, it's what I'm doing for my clients, not what my name is behind me, right? That's where, I, that's where you just go to hang your license anyways, right? So your broker, for those of you that don't understand, your broker is technically the manager. They're, they're in charge of your behavior, but they, you're, you're basically just a 1099, okay? You're a contractor, and, and they are in charge of the contracts that you write. They are, um, they're responsible for the contracts that you write, but they are not your boss, okay? Because at the end of the day, you're your own boss, right? And as long as you're making, you're doing right by your contracts, which is really simple to do, uh, you, there's nothing that they can do. You can ask them questions, so they're like a lifeline, but they're not, like you don't report to them and say, hey, this is what's going on. I, I, I don't know, Lachelle, do you report to you? I don't report to mine because that's not me, okay? Um, they're not my boss. I, I have to get myself up. They don't hand you contracts. You got to go get your own, okay? Um, so you have to work. Um, so long story short, I started thinking about where I was going to go. I had no clue, none, zero. Um, and only, I think, two people, three people knew. Um, it was my wife, Shelly Beans, and one other person knew that I was, I was planning an exit. had no idea, no idea where I was going to go. Didn't know when I was going to do it. Uh, some other stuff happened. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I think it's about time. Well, I was still dragging my feet, and lo and behold, a saint, <laughs> a saint inboxes me. and was like, hey, I had a dream about you. And, and so, like, at first I'm like, okay, what, where is this going? Um, but they explain their dream, and I'm like, huh. They said, I had a dream that you were at Keller Williams, KW, and – your business was booming and everything was that you were getting accolades all these things she was like I just remember you dressing up you were in you were you were wearing a white suit and you were wearing like two chains and and there was just but like it was very detailed but she was like but you were you were at this broke because I asked you and she was like she was like well I, I didn't think that you were at KW Keller Williams I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> However, 
Uh, as of April the 3rd, I am now with Keller Williams Elite. <laughs> And the, the important part of that is, is not that, that, you know, that person told me. No, that person had no idea. That person had no idea. Like, I wouldn't even have a conversation with them about it. And the fact that God <laughs> directed, they, they said that they were in their prayer time, and they fell asleep during their prayer time and said that that was their dream that they had. I'm obedient. I, you ain't got to tell me anything. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's, I know it's God. I trust them. I trust the God in them enough to know that, okay, I'm going to make this step. So um, I reached, I reached, literally reached out to one brokerage, sat down, talked to them. Lo and behold, the guy that I work with, because I'm, I'm still independent. I don't, I don't have a team. I don't have anything. I'm just with the brokerage. And I started talking to him. And um, so he's like, he's like going through stuff. And he's talking to me, and I'm talking to him. He's talking to me. I'm talking to him. And we're going over numbers, and I love numbers. I, I just do. And he's, like, throwing numbers out at me. And I'm like, okay. And I was like, oh, hey, so when you said this and this and that, I was like, was this? And he goes, oh, okay, good question. And I was like, yeah, I love numbers. He goes, yeah. He goes, I could tell. He's like, usually when I throw numbers out at people, their eyes go like this. And they don't know what's going on. And he goes, he goes, but you, you were just like, okay. And you just were eating it up. I was, I was like, yeah, I love numbers. So because of the past, numbers got me in trouble. Because numbers made people jealous of me at Walmart. Because I did the math. I could, I could come up with a solution faster than they can even discuss, come up with a discussion on how to come up with a solution. That got me in trouble. So anybody that could support me in the way my mind works obviously is going to support me in the way my business works. And that was a done deal for me. So I was like, okay, this dude, all right. This dude, this dude's pretty cool. And, and he's just talking to me. We're just, we're literally just chill. And he was like talking. He was like, you know, so, you know, whenever you make your decision, I'm like, yeah, my mind's made up. But, uh, I'll, you know, I'll just talk to my wife. I already knew right then and there what I was going to do. I was already done. I was done. I was like, hey, uh, just send me the contract so I can look at it. I didn't look at it. I knew, <laughs> I knew what I was signing. So, um, so I, I literally interviewed one, one brokerage, KW Elite. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, the, the, the guy who started it was uh, the number one, part of the number one team in Nebraska. They have a phenomenal training program. Um, they, they have a ton of resources. Uh, but but the most important thing is that they are going to teach me or are already teaching me about running my business like a business, which is a big deal. A lot of realtors don't run their business as a business. Um, yes, you can have an LLC, you can do all these things, but you need to know what your cycle looks like. You need to know what your ROI is on, on marketing, on things. Um, you need to know, you know, what events work for people. Um, and, and this is, so they, they understand, they've been crunching numbers and doing analytics on things for seven years straight. And the, the stuff that they are teaching and coaching, they go all around the United States, um, coaching people on their platform. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. And, um, and, and, and granted, what's going on right now has nothing to do with KW, but it has everything to do with my obedience. And that's why I'm there is because God gave me instruction and instead of hesitating and being fearful, I decided to just make the leap. Even though I don't know anyone at KW Elite, I had to follow the instructions because I trust God. I trust God. That's where my faith lies. My faith and my trust lies within him. So even when things don't make sense, how, why, would I, why would I just leave the people that I've known? I've known, I've known Carrie, my broker, for almost 20 years. Doesn't mean anything. Okay, doesn't mean anything. I, I was there for that time. When the Brook Kiris dries up, got to go to Zarephath. And whatever that looks like, it looks like. So, so I say I'll have to say that, that God has taken care of me um, already. <laughs> My wife was like, you are blowing up. I, I'm literally, there's an astronomical number that I didn't think I was going to be able to do, but um, with my, with macro construction, with my real estate business, I'm about to hit a number in about three months that I was, and I thank God 
for that opportunity, for pushing me along. Because it's not easy. As an entrepreneur, it's not easy. Um, like I said, you have sometimes you have terrible quarters. The, the same 2020 that I was doing well in, Lachelle didn't, when, when did you get your, your contract in 2020? Yeah, you had like, you had like four months, was it three or four months of debt? O almost four months. So the same time that I was rocking and rolling, my sister was suffering. Thinking to herself, seven years? 15 times? Seven years? Okay. But her faith, her faith... <laughs> exceeded what her flesh allowed her to be, believe. Her faith took her through those rough times, those rough moments. They're, they're awful. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand not getting paid. Y'all don't understand. Michelle, they don't, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand doing work and people taking money from you. You don't understand. You don't understand. Going to work, doing your job, and your, and your client flakes out. Y'all don't understand. You book that money. That money, is for, that money is for investments. That money is for living. That money is for tithes. That money has something to do. Y'all don't understand going to work and not getting paid. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all don't understand that. Okay? That's tough. That's hard. And then on top of that, you have a good month, but guess what? If you don't go out and do it again, you don't have a good month. <laughs> you can't even celebrate. <laughs> I made my mistakes early. I was like, man, like every time I had to close, I was like, I ain't doing anything for the rest of the day. And then I was like, hey, I got to do something today. Because <laughs> you learn that if you don't get out there and continue, and it's all momentum, it's all momentum. Because you have to understand the market. And if you're not in it, it's like double dutch. If you don't stay in it, then you're going to get tripped up real quick. You have to understand it. Um, so it's a big deal. It's a big deal. But my sister, as I was going through, as I was, I, I was doing well, my sister, my sister was suffering. And it bounces back and forth. She's had a phenomenal start to the year. She's done, she's done crazy numbers already. Uh, she's closing. We closed today on a house. It was so much fun. <laughs> Close today. <laughs> I thank God for my sister. My, my clients were so excited. My clients were so excited. It, I mean, it li literally was a perfect house. Perfect house. Um, so, so you know, we, we, we made it happen. God made a way. Okay? Uh, her clients accepted our offer. We were, we were less. I don't care if it was a dollar less. It, we were less. <laughs> it was less money. That, 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 that seller accepted. Um, and, and my clients, you know, my clients were in there. They were, they were so excited today. They're walking around the place, looking at it. They're like, hey, what all can you do? Uh, I don't like to answer that question. Because you're going to ask me to do a whole bunch of stuff. I got to still sell real estate. And they're like, well, how much is this? Uh, it's this. Okay, we're going to hire you for that. How much is this? Uh, it's this. Okay, we're going to save up and hire you for this. How much is this? Uh, uh, okay. I can't be here all day, <laughs> but, but it's a, it's so much fun. My clients are so excited and they will hire me. Um, they'll probably get my subs cause I don't have time to do all that myself. But, but the fact that I can be operating in my real estate business and my construction business will continue to grow is phenomenal. I got so much stuff going on. My, my construction business doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, we've got a big contract that we're uh, that we're we're working on um, Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Uh, that one started off at like forty something thousand, and it's probably going to go over eighty. So um, th we we've got that. We've got another basement we've got to do, um, and. and and we won't, I haven't advertised anything because I, I, I got, I got to sell real estate. I got to do something. Real estate's my pass through money. Um, but, uh, but, but God has literally blessed me, took me from, I, I had no idea I had an interest in woodworking. I had no idea that I could understand it at the level and then get it done at a higher level. When, when my painter came in, he asked me, he goes, who did your trim? And I said, I did. And he goes, have you ever done trim before? I said, absolutely not. He stopped and he goes, 
Brian, I'm not, and, and, and this is not a guy that fluffs. He's just, I mean, he's, he's a short Italian dude, so just imagine, okay? Short Italian dude, cusses every other word, you know, good, good people, but just, you know, Italian, okay? He, he talks like this, you know, Brian, let me tell you something. And, and like, that's, that's how he talks. And he goes up, he goes, I've had professional carpenters that don't do trim like you. My, I couldn't get out the basement because my head exploded. I was so, I mean, it was just swelled up. I'm like, yeah, I did that. Um, but, but that, but that was, you know, I, I did it for myself, right? Like I just, you know, I wanted to make sure I got that done. I wanted to do it for myself, but I didn't know that I understood at a higher level. Okay. And sometimes you don't know what you understand at a higher level until you just take that step and do it. People don't touch trim. Trim is supposed to be tough. It's supposed to be tough. Everybody that walks in my basement looks around, they're like, who did that? Me. Trim work is, it's not easy. There's angles. There's all these things. I've got some, uh, we had some tough angles in in, in the basement in which we did it. I mean, it was intricate work that we did. Not not super crazy. There's, there's, There's levels to this. But for someone first starting out, you don't, you don't attack that. That ain't, that ain't what you do. Um, so I, I thank God for exposing those talents, showing me. I, I was in the basement. I mean, I don't even. I was in the basement. Honey, we'll talk about that later. I was in the basement explaining to someone that if their passion was this contract and doing something like that, then go for it. I mean, they were excited. They were studying. They were learning. They had, they had so much fun. But yet that wife, third row, that wife was like, uh-uh. We can't, we can't leave our military cushion. We can't leave, we can't leave that retirement. You've only got I don't know how many years now, but back then I think it was seven or eight. You only have seven or eight years left. Well, she left and she had five. (laughs) Okay. There's levels to this. Okay. So he couldn't, he couldn't take the steps because his wife didn't support. My wife supports everything that I do. I get to wake up. I get to go to bed with someone who supports me who's my strengthening belt, who believes in everything that I do. I have no business owning a construction company. The hell do I know about construction? We took a GRI course, and I was like, my goodness, I know about construction. (laughs) I didn't study for the test. I got an 88 on it. I said, okay. I was like, all right. Okay. But I I say all that to say that when God, when God gives you something, and maybe it was for someone else, you could steal that blessing. I stole it. I told two two people, right, babe? Two people. Two people. I said, hey, if this is what you want to do, go do it. And both of their wives, my bad, I don't mean to laugh. Yes, I do. Both of their wives are fearful. Both of their wives can't imagine not getting a check both of their wives, my wife, she put in hard work, don't get me wrong, but she was elevated because of our faith. Exponentially. Exponentially. You see, you, 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 think, you, you, you think this stuff just comes easy, but, but it's not. None of this stuff is easy. This stuff is, this stuff is very difficult. Bishop makes it seem easy. He talks about the folks that are, are doing something. It, it, it seems like it's, it's not. It's absolutely not easy. None of this stuff is. You, know, you have no idea sitting at home in the mind fights and, and all this stuff and, and trying to figure out what next month or the month after is going to look like. You have no idea what that feels like. It's not easy. It's not easy. Y'all don't, y'all don't know that my wife got a, a, a bump in commission just before the fourth quarter fell out for me. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all don't, I can't make this, am I lying, babe? Am I I lying? 
She got a bump in commission. They just so happen, they just so happen to treat her just like every other CM. That's a whole nother story. I could be, how much time y'all got? Not enough. Um, they ju- it just so happened that her full commission started in August and the bottom fell out by October for me. Lost a million dollar deal, lost another $225,000 deal. Okay. It's a lot of money gone, earmarked, planned out. But God already knew. If I panicked, I jump off the deep end, she panics, she jumps off the deep end, it doesn't work. Okay? But, but we stay the court. It's not easy. We have mind fights. Everybody in here has mind fights. If mind fights are a sin, we all ain't going to make it. Okay? After you get done feeling sorry for yourself, you dry your eyes and whatever, pull up your pants, whatever, and you start thanking God. God, I thank you. I thank you for your provision. I thank you for what you're doing in my life. I thank you for the tests, the trials. Because it's, it's all lined up. Whether you see it or not, you have no idea, but he knows the timing. And he's always on time. Always on time. He never misses. So, so y'all, think, y'all think the bells, oh, the bells, there, the bells. There. No. Man, if you talk to the track kids, I'm a, I'm a track coach. <laughs> they, people just keep telling me little stories. Uh, today, I heard that, um, that I'm a millionaire. My wife said, tell him to keep speaking that in Jesus' name. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, apparently, I'm a millionaire um, because of my cars and bikes or whatever. What, whatever. I, and uh, so, so it was funny. I was messing with the kids yesterday because, you know, y- you could tell when people get curious. And y- y'all know I ain't got no sense. So, um, you know, people get curious. And the, the kids always just look at me like, man, what does he really do? So, like, I left my backpack uh, up by the up by the ring and, and one of the kids brought it to me. I was like, oh, thank you. I'm like, man, my drugs are in there. Tell me why one kid said, see, that explains it. See, I knew <laughs> your spirit was wrong. I knew. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, why, why, can't, why can't a man just be successful? Why can't we be successful? Why, do, why, why does there always have to be? Why don't you look at my plates? My plates say obedient. You ask me what my plates mean, I'll tell you, okay? The obedience is is when you don't want to do it. The obedience is when you have tears streaming down your face. The obedience is when I'm standing in that corner rebuttaling God, telling him, I don't want to go to Walmart. But I I didn't know. I didn't know what was going to happen. If I... If I didn't go to Walmart, do you think Cammie would be here? But, but I didn't know that. And I'm just telling him how I felt, what I thought was the right thing. I'm trying to go to Minnesota. <laughs> He's like, you don't like cold. I'm like, I, just, I don't like Nebraska. <laughs> I don't like Nebraska. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> no, I had to be here. I had to be here. I had to bless, I had to bless everyone that, that came through that door. I had to change lives. Kenny's at Lowe's now. Cammy's Cammy's running a car dealership, but but Cammy was able to start his business. Cammy got his family back. Cammy Cammy got it together because of my obedience in that corner. Even though I didn't want to, even though I drug my feet, I'm I gotta tell the story right. I still drug my feet. Okay? Uh, Because I had that conversation in February. I didn't interview until Sean was born. I ignored phone calls from Walmart. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go. No, you're not going to put me in that awful company. (laughs) But I didn't know what the weight of me being there was. I didn't know what what I was going to do for folks in the house. And and, and the people, the people that have recompensed me, Tramon and Paku bought a house because I got Paku a job. Come on, man. Can you make, you can't make this stuff up. Let me tie it together. So because I got Paku a job, when I was going through in the fourth quarter, their house closed. Yes. 
Y'all got to understand that what, what, what you think, what you think you're doing or what, what you think you're suffering from or suffering through, you have no idea what you're lining yourself up for. God sees all of this stuff. He's so far ahead of us. We just playing catch up. That's why it takes him so long to answer us. He has to turn around and see who's talking to him. Wait, what? Okay, we, y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea. It, it is literally, literally all through faith. That's why the Bell family's blessed. It's faith. It's faith. Y'all ain't in the, y'all, y'all are not in my wife's office when we are having full-blown conversation. My wife rolls her eyes at me all the time. She does. She thinks I'm crazy. And I am, a little bit, a lot of bit, none of your business, okay? I'm crazy, but I'm crazy about my trust in God. I'm crazy about his, his unfounding love, his never-ending ability to cradle us. It's not, it, and it ain't fun. Those conversations aren't fun. I know what's going to piss my wife off. And sometimes he's like, just say it. Oh, no, I don't want to say it. <laughs> just say it. Oh, God, here we go. And she'll get mad at me. And then she'll be like, yeah, I think you're right. I'll say, what? <laughs> that woman has apologized to me more times in the last two years than I think ever in our lives. Probably never see it again. Uh, <laughs> but, but the important piece is, is that I get to have a conversation with my wife in our home and what we built, and what she's got. I get to support my wife. I couldn't do that if I was still at Walmart. I couldn't do that if I had a nine to five. My wife is there. My wife, my wife can tell you about my business, wh- whether I say something or not, because she pays attention. She's sneaky. My wife is, is very observant. Just talk to her for a minute. You'll see. My wife knows. She is very intuitive, okay? But we get to have a conversation and, and we talk, there's, a, there's one black chair and her desk. That's, that's what our, her office is. Um, and and we, just, we just talk sometimes. We just have conversations. It's usually me making fun of people at her job, but nevertheless, uh, the, it's a good conversation because we get, <laughs> we, get to, we get to work through things together. She gives me insight, I give her insight. We just work through things. And it's the most fun time. I don't ever want her to go back to the office. I love spending time with her. It's so much. I, the last three years, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely. Yeah, we get on each other's nerves here and there, but, but we're, we're always together. Like, when I'm out for a day, like, she, she hugs me. And my wife's not really, like, she's not really affectionate like that. But, like, if I'm gone for a long time, I'm, like, today, she'll probably be like, man, I missed you. Uh, all right, <laughs> get used to it, but <laughs> but it, it's fun. That's fun. You know, we're used to seeing each other. We literally, literally, we spend all day every day with each other. Like we just hang out. Sometimes we'll go to lunch. We'll sometimes I make lunch. Sometimes I go get coffee. You know, I, but it's fun. But but my faith and my obedience, her faith, her obedience, it got us there. Ain't nothing else. Ain't nothing on the side. We, we gladly, we gladly pay our tithes. We gladly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Uh, we say gladly it. pay our tithes. Don't say it. <laughs> And, uh, and and we might be in a competition with some. It's, for the last couple of years, it's been a little competition. Uh, <laughs> he won. I don't think he's going to win this year. But he won He won last year. He won the year before. It's only about like a couple hundred bucks. But I don't know if he's going to win this year. So, and, 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 it's, and it's fun. It's fun because it's not, it's not a competition with him. It's, it's how we competitively recompense God for what he's done for us. The, the dollar amount's the dollar amount. The dollar amount's going to change. And if you truly believe 
what you hear in this pulpit, then your dollar amount will change. That's right. <laughs> we literally give somebody salary, literally. And I'm not talking about somebody's entry levels. I'm, I'm talking about salary every year. And it is fun. It is fun for us. It is fun ahead, for ahead. us. Good. It is fun for that's us. Good. And that's not being braggadocious. I'm bragging on God. Go ahead, because Go y'all ahead. don't know what it's like to be in Lincoln. Broke. Finding out that you're pregnant. It's 2008. The internship that you had no longer will hire you because they only have two jobs in the whole country. You don't know what that's like. You don't want to feel that. Mm -hmm. Got a baby on the way. Uh, The internship won't hire you. Uh, You lose. I lost my job offer two days after, two days after graduation. Mm. Wow. Okay. (laughs) That, that's, this is my story. This is, this is where we came from. Right. Y'all don't, y'all don't understand. Y'all see, y'all see the cat, the Escalade, bikes, stupid stuff, Louis belt. Remember the red suit. This is, too. No, don't talk about that. <laughs> he shall remain nameless. So <laughs> this stuff came from Paris, by the way. These shoes, I got, they came from the back. Right. This, I, don't, I think this was, in, no, this one wasn't in the back. The rest of my stuff was in Paris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, no. No, it ain't. It, <laughs> She going to ask me, is that his? <laughs> I haven't worn his size since the first grade. <laughs> uh, no, 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 uh, no. Step foot in that office. I guarantee you hear worse. <laughs> step, step foot in that office. Well, we, we know. Um, where was I? Where was I going with this? Y'all, you done threw me off. Yeah. Your turn's coming. Uh, 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 oops, I said too much. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, uh, we understand. But that. but God, but God has done so yes, much he has. for yes, the he Bell has. family. Yes, He has. So much. So much. Uh, uh, to the point that my ki- our kids think we're we're wealthy. Uh, That's Trey, good. Come on, man. <laughs> Trey be asking questions. Trey texted my wife today and was like, man, can I come home? Oh, oh can my homeboy come too? <laughs> Fool, it is 1130. You ain't going anywhere. Yo, grades. He's doing better, but uh, there's still not good enough for him to be missing any time in school. You can't be tardy. You can't be nothing. You got to stay after school. <laughs> I had something. I actually studied for a quick second, but I'm not going to talk about that because that's not important anymore. Um, no, but we th- this is thing. this is the representation of the salt and light. There you go. Yeah. My salt brought Cammy to Walmart. Yeah. My salt and my light made sure that I am taken care of. My wife's light is helped her climb ranks we didn't even ever imagine. I, I told her before she went there, though. I did tell her before she went there, that we don't know what this opportunity was going to give us. And, and at the time, she didn't want to do it. I got to tell the story right. She was like, I don't want to keep changing jobs because she had just started at another place. And then her friend moved to Fusion. She's like, I don't want to keep changing jobs. I want, to, I want to grow my career. And I had this overwhelming sensation. And I'm like, I said, you don't know. At that time, they were couple years old or whatever and I said you don't know what God has in store for you and I said if I be a man of God you will you will how do I put it I said if I be a man of God you will be exponentially higher than you've ever been Um, I'm talking stocks equity all this stuff I said you could be an executive I I was close (laughs) because the money that my wife makes is uh, the the executive (laughs) Okay, but she ain't got no title. <laughs> but God, God had opened up an opportunity, and 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 my wife went for it. Amen. Okay? She went for it. She worked hard. She worked really hard. Amen. She still works hard. Y'all, y'all haven't been through what she's been through. Yeah. Y'all, y'all don't know what it's like to have 
your territory, uh, it might be sixth now, I don't know. She's had her territory taken from her, distributed, distributed, distributed. Y'all don't know what that's like. And still making good money. Amen. It ain't what she was used to or what she wants to make. But we, we got to raise our hand. People don't make money like that. I'm like, girl, this is, this is good. See, that's the difference. That's the difference between someone who, who works hard and recognizes and understands their level and their, and their potential versus just someone just complaining. She's not complaining. She wants to be higher. I, I want to be back where, where we were last year. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't forget to tell God, thank you. That's it. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. People don't make money like this. People don't make money like that. Thank you. Thank you. My wife is just, she just, she, she works hard. She works hard. She puts, my wife is good at everything that she does. Just anything she touches. It's a Midas touch. Janelle touch. A anything. Anything she does. Anything. She's just good. She's just good. Go ahead, girl. She's phenomenal. <laughs> she doesn't even know how good she is. She doesn't. And that's, and that's cool. I, I tell her all the time, but she's just good. She, she just, she learns it. She understands it. She plays by the rules. I mean, she doesn't, I, I'm the type of person, I will hang on the fence. I'm like, man, I am like, <laughs> that's how I play. I love to play, I play the edge. I'm edgy. Very edgy. My wife will play within bounds. She's like, I can't do that. And I said, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay? But my wife works very hard, and she's super blessed. She's, we are super fortunate. But it's just all evidence of, of faith and what God has done for us, and he hasn't stopped blessing us. This week alone, I'm literally, I, literally, on Sunday, I was like, man, I'm just trying to get home. Man, Saturday, I... Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I, I literally, I was taking $20,000 phone calls. People that I hadn't heard from, didn't talk to. Go just ahead. stuff is popping up. Awesome. Man. But, but, but you can't, I, I can't be lazy about it. No, you got I still got to get, see, that's the thing with real estate. You, <laughs> you, you get opportunities, <laughs> But if, if, you don't, if you don't exercise them and execute them, then they're just opportunities. They're wasted potential. That's it. There's a big difference between potential. Potential executed and potential that just sits there. Okay? Athletes, y'all got to understand that. If someone says, you have high potential, you look at them and you say, no, I want to execute all my potential. I want to be everything that my potential has for me. Because the, the, the trend nowadays is, that's good enough. It's not. It's not. To compete at a high level, you got to do what other people are afraid to do, what, what other folks don't want to do. And then that takes you and rides into your career because you won't do athletics forever, okay? It takes you and rides into your career. And then you're looking around like, this stuff is simple. It translates to your walk with God. This is simple, okay? When you train, it hurts. It's not fun. I hate weightlifting. I hate it. It's awful. It's heavy. Ah. <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's why I don't lift that much now. I'm like, man, it sucks. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> well, I got to pick this up. <laughs> Stop laughing, Janielle. Janielle used to spot me. Oh, this is off topic. I don't care. Janielle used to spot me in high school. I'd put like 500 on the squat, and I'd be like, hey, you got to help me. If I don't make it, you got to catch me. <laughs> and she... <laughs> And when you just looked at me, she looked at me. <laughs> she, she, she would just be back there like, I, I, I don't know what to do. And so I would mess with her. And so I'd get to the bottom of the squat, and I'd be like, Ugh! And she's like, stop. And I'm like, I'm just kidding. And I'd stand up. And she, and she would just get so mad. I love doing that to her. Once again, I'm edgy. So, but, um, but you got to go beyond what other people will do. That's how, that's how you excel in sports. That's how you excel in life. And that's how you excel in your walk with God. All that stuff is the same. It's how you approach it. Okay? Um, so I digress. I'm off that topic. Uh, I don't have anything else. Every head bow. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, man. I don't even care if I finish my statement. Every head bowed. All right. It's 8 o'clock. I'm going home. 8 o'clock. All right. I didn't know that. I had I had some scriptures. I had stuff. I was going to talk about the eye and light. And I guess I'll just have to wait till next Tuesday if that's what God wants me to talk about. Every head bowed. Please pray, Pastor KT. Precious Lord, Father, and Savior in heaven. Lord, we thank you for minister, I mean, Brother Bells. Just Brian. Just Brian. Just Brian. Personal testimony. And we appreciate his love for his wife. And it's nice to have a wife. We pray for Jane Yale. Yes. Because it's nice to have a wife that's bad to the bone, but she don't even know it. She could be all in her husband's face. She could be telling him what he's not. Pray, man. Pray. But they in the right place, receiving the right plan, and getting the right provision. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, we thank you because he stressed faith. And he don't know what he said. That's, that's going to be a big thing, faith, because you can't be salt and you can't be light without faith. That's right. Come on. You can't. Faith is an action word. Yes. You can't lay down on faith. Teach, man of God. If you right. lay down on faith, you will remain faithless. Come on. And in the dark. So, Lord, we thank you for teaching us and continue to teach, continuing to teach us about salt and the light. We thank you for the man of God. We thank you for the five lights in Rwanda yes. that's about to light it up. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And we thank you for the lights that are about to light it up here, Father. We look forward to hearing Lucretia Sunday and supporting her. Yes. Woman of God with her man of God. Yes. And we look forward to returning tomorrow with joy. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Does anyone have a need to be baptized in Jesus name to repent for the remission of your sins? This piece is very important. Yeah, faith is important, but you got to be born again first. Got to be baptized in Jesus name. You got to repent. Go down in Jesus' name. Fill with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues. That is truly the plan of salvation. All this stuff works together. Anybody, young man, young lady. Anybody just need prayer? Man, my faith is lacking. My fear is overwhelming. Anybody. We got some great souls in here. We got a lot of salt and light in here. Got a lot of salt, a lot of light. God, uh, I don't know if I can just trust you like that. How, how, do they, how do they do it? You reach up for help. This ain't easy. Anybody just need prayer? Want to tell God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not trusting you. I'm, I'm sorry for not believing what you told me to do. I'm sorry for dragging my feet. See, sometimes it's easy to just talk about this stuff. It's 
easy to use words, but it's hard to put it in action. Anybody? No one? Well, let's respect the souls on the altar, and please raise your hand if you need an envelope.